brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Tony with 1A Auto, here to talk to you about how to properly bleed the cooling system on most vehicles. We're going to use our 2008 Dodge Ram, but this is a pretty general procedure that can be applied to any vehicle you may have. Some reasons you might be bleeding your cooling system is the radiator or the engine block has been drained of coolant for one reason or another, be it a parts failure or a replacement that has caused the fluid level in the block in the radiator to drop below their normal levels. When refilling the radiator, you can create air pockets within the block, hoses, radiator, and heater core. You'll want to ensure that you've properly bled all the air out of the system before driving your vehicle. If your system's been drained, you've already got your radiator cap off. Go ahead and throw in a funnel, fill your radiator as full as you can get it. This may take several tries as some air bubbles will pop and bleed out on their own. Once the radiator is full and remaining at that level, you're going to want to get inside your vehicle. Start your vehicle. Set the heat to the highest setting panel so you can feel it coming out of the vents and set the fan to the lowest speed. This will allow you to monitor the temperature of the coolant in the heater core without the heater core cooling it off too much and lengthening the process. When your coolant level drops, be sure to keep it topped up. You'll notice a big drop when the engine reaches operating temperature and the thermostat opens, allowing the block to fill with coolant. Ensure that you have proper heat coming through your vents. Ensure your engine is in the normal operating temperature range. After you've topped off your radiator, shut your vehicle off, reinstall your radiator cap, let it run for a few more minutes to ensure that the operating temperature stays normal and that you don't lose your heat. After that's done, take it for a quick drive, bring it back, let it cool down, Pop your cap off again. Make sure that the radiator is still full. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.